Hello and welcome to Team Atlantic channel. Today we're going to talk about repairing a complex LED chandelier. If you have any questions about this repair, write them in the comments. We're always interested in discussing them with you. Also, if you want to get our new videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell. Here on our workbench is a complex LED chandelier. It has three sections and two drivers. The small section lights up, the middle one doesn't, and the large one lights up. Let's focus on the faulty section. To repair it, we need to understand and draw the wiring diagram. Carefully remove excess fasteners. Let's begin the troubleshooting by taking apart the wires. Here we see one wire from the faulty section of the chandelier goes to the small driver and the second goes through the hole to the small LED ring. We hadn't noticed this ring before, but this allows us to prepare a diagram of the entire chandelier assembly. This chandelier has two virtually independent circuits, one circuit for large and small sections, the second circuit is for the middle section and the LED ring. We'll continue to work with this diagram. As in our previous videos, we start by checking the driver. To do this, first remove the caps, we connect the Octacom M1060 multimeter. The application video link for this multimeter is on the top right corner. We connect power to the chandelier and see 90 volts at the driver output. So the driver is OK. Continuing to troubleshoot, now we will calculate the supply voltage of the middle section of the LED chandelier and the LED ring. The ring is familiar to us from our previous videos and we know that its operating voltage is 16.5 volts. The photo of the driver shows that the small driver produces from 50 to 80 volts. To calculate the test voltage of this entire circuit, let's choose an average value of 70 volts. Of this 70 volts, 16.5 volts should be for the LED ring, and the balance should be 53.5 for the middle section of the chandelier. To test the middle section of the LED chandelier, we will connect it to the Octacom APS7205 power supply. This power supply is very interesting. It has three channels, 30 volts each, and can combine the channels in series to produce a large DC voltage. For this test, as we found out earlier, we need 53 volts. So we connect the first and second channels. In parallel with the LED, we connect the Octacom M1060 control multimeter. Voltage. To make our testing volts. easier, we enable the remote control program via USB. We set 26 volts. volts on one channel and 27 volts on the other and connect them in series. Total volts. 53 volts. The total Self current is set at 200 milliamps and now we turn on the APS 7205 output. Voltage. As a result, we see the middle volts. section of the LED chandelier is working and Self lights up enabled. perfectly. Voltage. 26 volts. To test the LED ring, we connect it to the Octacom APS7306 power supply. We set the output voltage to 16.5 volts.
and see individual LEDs blinking. With this we found the actual malfunction of the entire LED chandelier. We take out the LED panel of the LED ring. Now let's look for the faulty LEDs on the round panel. To do this we use our advanced multimere Actacom M1060 in diet testing mode. We see that the LEDs light up in pairs and this means they are working properly. One LED doesn't light up and this is the cause of the malfunction. To fix this, let's replace the broken LED in the LED ring. For this we use ASC1209 soldering tweezers together with digital soldering station ASC1107. In the previous video we showed how to do it. The link is in the top corner and in the description under the video. You can also replace this entire LED panel, it is very inexpensive. Let's assemble the entire circuit with the repaired LED ring. When assembling the LED ring, it is important to use thermal paste to improve heat dissipation during operation of the LED. Now let's test the chandelier with the new LED ring. For control, we will connect two M1060 multimeters at once. One M1060 is parallel to the middle section of the chandelier and the second is parallel to the LED ring. Let's turn it on. We see everything works great. We also see the voltage in the middle section of the chandelier is 54 volts and in the LED ring is 18 volts. Next, we will test the temperature of the LED chandelier. At the same time, we measure the current in the circuit. The current is 220 mA. We see that LEDs of all sections of the chandelier operate at a temperature of about 35 degrees. But the LEDs of the ring operate at very high temperature, about 80 degrees Celsius. For information, the operating temperature for this type of LED is plus 85 degrees Celsius. So this section is incorrectly designed in terms of temperature. After the completed repair, the question arises, how can we improve reliability of the chandelier? There are really two answers. The first is to use the LED ring without glass. This will improve heat transfer due to air movement and the temperature will be slightly less than the current limit. There is a second option for improving the reliability and it's quite unusual. You can completely exclude the LED ring from the chandelier circuit. In this case, all other sections will work normally. Why is this possible? The reason is that the LED driver works as a current stabilizer, reduce the number of LEDs and the driver will reduce the voltage to the desired level. Let's check it out. Let's connect the middle level of the LED chandelier directly to the driver and check the voltage. For this we use the M1060 multimeter. Let's turn on the power. We see that the average level voltage of the LED chandelier is 54 volts, which is exactly what is needed for normal operation of the middle section. Thus, the chandelier can be used without the LED ring. Thank you for watching the video. We hope our repairs videos are useful for you. Please don't forget to like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell. Also, if you need to repair your favorite light fixture, contact us, the link will be in the description or visit our website. Bye-bye and see you later.